Hello, McWarriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tag. Guys, it is time that we're gonna lick our wounds, get some money, and rebuild our mechs. Because last time we were playing a super heavy mission, we got kicked in the nuts, but we also came home with some salvage. And that is what matters. I, I, will, I will be touching up on the topic in a second here. But first of all, we need to get some money. Let's take a look at my mech bay, because last time... When we were playing this, we actually got something like a super heavy tank. And I want to see if I can sell that thing. I'm not particularly interested in running that thing, so might as well get rid of it. That is so good. Oh, this is so amazing. Yes, please give me the 6.5 million sea bills. I'm going to scrap all of it. Uh, let's make sure that we are not scrapping the orca. It is the gold topper. Scrappity wrap. And we are safe. We have a good chunk of money now. Like a good chunk. And that means that we can easily, without a problem, rebuild everything that we got here. First of all, we're gonna stop a lot of things here. Why? Because some of these mechs don't have the uh, items that they need anymore. The Crusader is fine, it just needs repair and refit. Um, but the other guys are, I think, completely broken. Or partly broken. So, like the Marauder here. It was running an XL engine, it lost a lot of stuff. I'm gonna just instantly scrap that thing. I'm not gonna even bring it back to life. Because at this point, I wanna focus on my assault max. And I, I don't need that thing anymore. Um, what are you? You're also XL engine blown up, improved communications. No. It's also gonna be a Is it a scrap candidate here? I mean it is an Omni Mac. We can easily rebuild it. It comes with all of the stuff inside already. Yeah, we might need that thing. You know what? It's fine. I'm gonna max armor as well. 18 days, 500,000. Alright, it's cool. It's cool, look. Cool, cool. So, um, by the way, I was asking you guys last episode if the mission that I was playing was worth it in your books or not. And I completely respect your opinion, but here is my opinion. I got a bunch of comments saying that <clears throat> the Baradul is rushing it again. He was not prepared. What is he doing? Uh, I was actually, yes, kind of rushing it, if you want to say it like that. Uh, and that's because there is a game-breaking, a safe game-breaking patch on the horizon and I wanted to get into the super late game. Also, I wanted to have kind of like a reason to actually go for uh, my uh, Assault Max now. So, uh, getting into that mission, taking the risk, getting rewarded, but also, again, uh, getting a lot of pain as a result was nothing bad in my books. It was something that I had a lot of fun playing and uh, I hope you had some fun watching as well. So this is this is why I'm kind of like kind of pushing it right now because again this playthrough will be over soon ish and then we're gonna start a new one obviously but um, yeah the safe game breaking patch is an actual issue and uh, as a result I cannot take forever to actually get into super heavy territory might as well start it now oh, by the way since we are here this heavy gauss build is garbage uh, we always have to brace ourselves and this kind of it's besides the point here. Also, this mech is like super duper slow. It never gets into line of sight. Um, and therefore, oh, we might want to keep that. And therefore, I'm going to change it now. I'm going to change it to something that is way better than it was before. And that thing is going to be, you guessed it right, mortars. Do we have ammo for it, by the way? We got half a ton of ammo. Acid half, airburst half, fast cam acid. Seems good. Seems good. We have a bit of everything. Um... It's only a bit of everything. Is it gonna be enough? That is the question here. How many acid bins are in here per bin? How many shots? Uh, that's 40 shots. That's okay, that's more than one alpha strike. Yeah, I wanna make this something that is able to support. Because again, super slow mech, but a lot of weight. And we're gonna use uh, just indirect firing weapons so it can always shoot. Every single time. Uh, put the mortars on the arms. Why not? Uh, we got three here, three here. Actually, it's four only. We have a total of four. Do we put the mortar in a sphere into the mech? I don't think so. I don't think that they are efficient enough. Yeah, this is gonna be alright. The laser AMS in here. Why not? There we go. So. With those mortars. I don't think we need the upper recoil, although it gives us a bit of accuracy on that arm. I don't think it's kind of needed. We have no recoil here, and we might want to get that thing uh, on another mech that needs it more. So we're gonna take it out. Uh, on top of that, what is our LRM option here? We have two arrows. We have two clan arrows. 
Wait a second. Is this the solution to all of this? Huh. <laughs> if only we had ammo, huh? <laughs> we don't. All right. Cool. Not cool. What about a sniper artillery? I mean, there's one. How? Got the snipes and the mortars? This seems like an idea. We got stealth. Can we put sniper on an arm? Oh, yes, we can. Alrighty, guys, let's go. Uh, Omni lower. Bam, get that accuracy. Or maybe not, because it's not permitted. Alright. So that means we're gonna put it on the side torso. <sighs> Spreading it out. Probably. We are doing some kind of left side, right side situation here. But we are allowed to do that, yeah? Yeah, great. You might be like, why are you putting accuracy on an artillery weapon? The answer is that mortars do splash damage, sure, but a direct hit is always better than a non-direct hit. Uh, we have still Gauss ammo here. So, that being said, let's get some ammunition on this guy. And we have sniper, sniper shaped charge, and that's it. Would have loved to take infernos here, but okay. The shape charge is giving us plus one accuracy, more criticals, and more through armor crit chance. And I do believe it is a yeah, it is a concentrated shape charge doing all the damage directly. So a hundred damage pinpoint. That's good. Ten shots. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take one bin per, and that's gonna be already enough for this one sniper artillery. Beautiful. Double heat sink kit is already in there. The flare is already in there. We don't need that. I need some kind of an exchanger. I think the exchanger plus is good enough here. And we're gonna pad it out with some extra heat sinks later. Uh, I want the exchanger clan on somebody else. Also, advanced optics. Need it here? I doubt it. I was just saying that accuracy is good. But it's not that necessary. I mean, putting an Omni lower in here... Well, basically, no effort is okay, but this optics needs to be on another assault mech that is a more direct firing mech. So we're gonna put it somewhere else. Um, combat shield is not viable. What's gonna be our second thing? Just a heat bank. Gives us extra cooling. And that is basically where we wanna be. But we will put more stuff into the mech. We already have Nova CEWS, so we are already shielded. We also have a stealth armor, so we don't need to care about that. What we need is a fire control system. And we could go with scatter. That might be a good idea. But we don't get accuracy out of that. The Predator would give us accuracy. And night vision, which is super helpful. Since we are not running advanced optics anymore. I think I'm gonna actually give it a Predator. There we go. And we have improved targeting long range. Okay. Cool. Seriously, what's the rest of the mech? I'll be putting more weapons in it. I had that one LRM-15 here. And then, man, I wish I could take the arrows. I would easily put double arrow plus six, uh, sorry, four mortar sixes into the mech. Speaking of, we don't have ammo for it yet. So let's go. Half a ton of acid. Uh, a full ton of fast cam. Two half tons of air burst. Half a ton of regular mortar ammo. Bit of inferno. Man, I wish these were full tons. But they are not. 20 shots, okay. It's an awkward number. A very awkward number. How do I do this? Is this gonna be enough? Let me think about Alpha Strikes here. So we shoot 24. Uh, 24 mortar shells per Alpha Strike. Half a ton is uh, 20 and a full ton is, I believe, then 40. Yeah, that's right. So what we have is 1, 2... Three, three and a half. Okay. Hmm. That is not enough. I'm getting, I'm getting confused with my own math here. So, give me, give me a second. So, that's like 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Correct? Is that 140? And we are shooting... 26 per attack? That is not 10 alpha strikes. By far. Oh boy. Oh boy. So... I need to put more stuff in it. So it's gonna be another bin of this and it's gonna be another bin of that. But we are still not where we want to be. I still believe it is a good idea to do it like this. And then just search for the extra ammo somewhere else. Alright. Also laser AMS is coming back. I want this guy to be protected. 
Cool. That's a build. It's not a good build, but it is a build. It's mine. It has all the ammo everywhere, which might also result in massive explosions. I hate, but okay. Um, yeah, we have some weight over. What are we doing with that? I could put some kind of missile weapon on it. Or another mortar without the ammo. I don't know how to do it. SRMs are not good here. Maybe an MRM. Drop the laser AMS. Get the MRM in. Get a ton of ammo for it. Any other support system? Do we have more AMS? <laughs> a sensor AMS. We're running sniper sensor though. Uh, it's an okay one. We could actually go with the sensor AMS. Yeah, that's great. Death stairs, not a thing I want. Uh, remote missile sensor. Come on, there has to be something. Let's put an emergency coolant system in this mech as well. We might need it. Uh, protos are not needed. Interface cockpit, we cannot change it, sadly. Angel ECM, not possible. We got some battle computers, which is also nice. But we are not using them here. Gunnery, uh-uh. Yeah, that's a big no. Wait a sec, we are running 300 rated engine? Okay, I'm gonna actually give it an engine heatsink plus two instead of the emergency cooling system. That's helpful. It gives us enough cooling for uh, basically anything. Um, I'm thinking. Are we in need of an extra, let's say, laser array or something? Something like extended range uh, mediums, maybe. One plan, got some regular inner sphere ones. Maybe that's the way to go. I mean, with the sensor AMS and these AMSs, we are we are fine. We don't need the laser AMS anymore, I think. I give it another... Bright Bloom is better for range. This guy is slow. We gotta keep that in mind. Give it two Bright Blooms and one Clan. And then we are good to go. The rest is gonna be cooling. Two more heat sinks. And I think this is it. It is a, a double heat sink kit. Ooh, yeah. We are running out of the slottage. It's not gonna work like that. Crap. Is that insulator? Uh, not on Omnimax. Not on Omnimax. Let's be real. What are these lasers giving us? Not much, really. This guy is gonna fire indirectly like all the time. It's just a measure for not running out of ammo. Bring back AMS. Give it... Give it some kind of support system. Tech barrage. Whatever. Let's go. Still two and a half tons. And you know what? Just because I can, I'm gonna give it the last few tons of ammo for the mortar. Although it is garbage ammo. Let's get smoke in here. Let's get another ton of flare in here. And another half ton of flare. It doesn't help us whatsoever. But it's there. And we have it. Alright. So, kind of a makeshift direwolf, but way better than it was before. And I'm gonna actually put it to the front. Cool. Atlas, 54 days. Also, to the front. King Crab, to the front. We need these guys to be ready. Everybody else is falling in line? If it's back, sure. And what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna press that button and I'm gonna wait. Wait a sec. Huh? I mean, we will probably get over two financial reports here. Until we actually can think about actually uh, playing something. But I can upgrade my drop tonnage. Eagle Bay and Drive upgrade. A okay, drive upgrade costs high capacity conduits. Let's get them then. At some point we gotta we gotta get that that weight as well. Okay. So who's gonna come online first? I also want to take a look at the king crab and potentially build something around that. E, that's good. More tech points is huge for us. It's exactly what we need. So. King Crab needs nine days more. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna order it like this. Yes. Like this. Alright. In nine days, we can start the next build. You know what? I like these episodes as well. We will, by the way, play some missions today. I'm gonna guarantee that. It's not just rebuilding, but I need to rebuild in order to get things done. So, King Crabbo. It's the risk variant. 
Comes with the risk fire control cockpit with evasion ignore and breaching shot. It's pretty good, man. We got what? Two ballistics? Two. No, four energy. And one missile. And more armor. Alrighty. So, radical double heat sink kit, emergency coolant system, no fusion core. Excel engine, though. I think I want to make the crab somewhat fast because I want to get it into line of sight. So, we're going to go with the 360. Still don't have a supercharger, by the way. Um, battle computers come to mind. Although we would give up the risk cockpit. Man, evasion ignore and breaching shot is quite nice. What else do we have here? Ooh, interface. Interface. Let's go, everybody. We don't have any kind of jump jet boosters, correct? No. But we have an exchanger, which is kind of needed for where I want to go. And I think I want to go for the optics here. This king crab needs to be good. Let's go with... Uh, Hyper Assault 20 plus a clan Gauss rifle. Maybe some hole punching shenanigans. And then some criticals. Oh, this guy needs uh, Hyper Assault. Yeah, it needs Hyper Ammo. We don't have Hyper Ammo. We have Heavy Ammo. Hmm. Could be just two Gausses. Two double bins. I actually invested quite a lot into rotary auto cannons. Maybe this one wants to be a rotary build. We have one Ruck 20 risk and one Ruck 10 risk. No, Ruck 20 clan, Ruck 10 risk. Seems good ish. How do we manage the recoil though? How do we do this? This is a massive recoil. Oh, also these things have a knockdown chance, right? Yeah, 20%. And the Ruck 10s as well? 20% chance to knock down. I don't like that. I really like my Rucks. Don't take them away from me, man. I mean, I could use them, but it comes with a risk. Pun intended. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna take these, I guess. Maybe this is just a nice, good old-fashioned Gauss sniper. We'll take the Blackwell, because it evasion ignores and gives us more accuracy. It's a bit heavier, I think? No. What's the drawback? Lower damage. Still good, man. 75 damage, I'll take it. This one also 75, right? Oh, it's 80, actually. It's 80. Anyway. That's the start of a build. We have the interface cockpit, so we can move after shooting. We are running... 4? Uh, it's still 3 and 5. 3-5 three, is not good. At all. Like... This is 3-4 now? Yeah. Huh? This is also 3-5. But I don't know how it will interact with uh, rough terrain, for example. Hmm. Is the 360 the one that I want? Big question here. It also doesn't allow us to take another extra jump jet. It's still kept at 3. Weird. What I would do, probably, is... Um, Probably put a proto double heat sink kit in here and add some lasers. How do we get the mech fast? This is my biggest problem right now. I put endo steel in it. It's not helping, but it's, it helps with the weight. Fibrous. I got that as well. Partial self repair. Ah, huh? anybody want some? That's pretty good. But that's the build then. This is just a build. No. I don't think it's gonna be worth it. I'm gonna take Pharaoh Clan. There we go. We have 20 tons now. Ideally, I'm gonna put a big missile weapon into this thing. And... I don't have any good ones. Stupid enhanced LRMs. Yeah, fine. What about our... Our energy options? I have no heavy large. Nothing here, huh? That's okay. But I have two clan ERPPCs, which are kind of good. I'm gonna take them. So I think this is gonna be my next sniper dude guy that hopefully gets things done. Cool. Uh, cooling, guys. And EC ECM. Million, by the way. Eh, not really good. Yeah, but let's talk about cooling. First of all, we're gonna equip something that is called a... Ooh, clan fire control system, I guess. Offensive push accuracy and negative multiplier to jam chance. Not what I want. I need regular accuracy. 
No? No? Alright, I'll take this. Because it gives us, um... No, 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 no! Cold shot, location modifier of 20. Maybe we can do some headshot shenanigans with it. Go headshot, go... Tracking for evasion ignore, that's really good. Range. Do we need it? I mean, we want to stack battle computers here. I mean, gunnery is a no-brainer. Medium range is also pretty good. Long range seems good. Uh, I was kind of hoping for heat. We don't have it. And yeah, you can see this is already falling behind in, in tonnage and cooling and fire. No, not firepower. Firepower is the same. Mm, let's talk about the proto heat sink here that we still have. Does it help us? The answer is no. The answer is freaking no. What we need is just raw cooling. What we need is raw cooling. Hmm. Gotta put some doubles in the mech. We are not quite getting where I wanna be. Huh? Oh yeah, this is the clan. This is a bit bigger here. So I think I cannot take all of these battle computers into consideration. Let's take the range one out. Get a double in here. Wait, what? Still not possible. Crap. I mean, engine heat sinks would be nice, but we would be giving up our emergency coolant system. Doesn't change. Why? 99 to 109. 93. So it actually does change. Mm. And anyway, we need that heat battle computer in order to keep it cold. Gunner retracking headshot, long range. Seems okay. We have the optics in form of the special item. Uh, risk sensor is honestly pretty okay. Maybe we want to get something else. And we definitely want gunnery B. So where's my sensor? Recon sniper. Sniper seems very good. Um, powered sensors. It actively counters ECM and stealth by two. Tracker is the way to go, though. 100%. Still don't have enough cooling. I mean, we are running a radical. How would I do it? I mean... Engine could be lower? Question mark? Oh, boy. So with the proto double heatsink kit, we might be able to put more cooling into the mech because we have more slots. Let me quickly check that out. We have eight protos. Yeah, we're not really getting there. This is already where we kept our our tonnage. Ha! Huh. So this mech is not fast, not as fast as I want it to be. But maybe we have to play it just like that. Get the Protoss online. Get the engine a little lower so we can shoot reliably. Get in another battle computer and, and then just go. This seems okay as a build. Seems alright. Um, okay, so we have the battle computer range, but that is about it, right? So headshot goes here, tracker goes here, gunnery goes here, medium range goes here. It's fine. Cool. Still half a ton. Uh, we have no kind of ECM, by the way, and I need one. I think it's gonna be a Nova. Hmm. Cool. So drop some leg armor. Drop it down to 180, I guess, and a little bit of back armor, and I think this is it then. Cool, in 30 days we have a King Crab. And not a bad one. Seems good, man. We also got the interface cockpit that allows to shoot us and then move away. Hopefully, this is kind of working. Finishing the Wolf Archer. That thing is in dire need of additional content, additional equipment. We didn't have the time to completely build it last time, so I'm kind of in dire need of building it now. I'm making it an LRM thing. LRM plus heavy MRMs. It has actually everything it wants to have. Nice. Two bins of Artemis ammo. It's 120 shots. I need another bin, and I think then we are good. Ish. Right. What else do we have? What else do we need? Maximum armor is what we need. Great. 
So we have, what, three more tons. Still a bit of extra heat. Also running an AMS. Uh, with probably not enough ammo. So I actually granted another ton of high explosive AMS Mark II ammo. Energy hard points is what we got. That's the last thing. So three missile hard points are already taken. Enhanced LRMs. Man, I really want to streamline them. But I think we got to go LRM 15 plan because they're just more weight efficient. Sure. And I'm going to stick to my heavy MRM. All right. So that being said, why are we running so much ammo? We have, wait, 30 here. This is 120. Oh, the reason for it is because we need it. Great. Angel ECM is fine. Again, the only thing that I can see here would probably be something like energy weapons. I'm gonna give it a bunch of pulses. X-Pulse? Nah, too much. Too much. I'll give it to Ear Bright Bloom. There we go. And I will probably not fire them all the time. So it's gonna be fine in terms of heat management. I know we are under cooling, but we will not fire all of these lasers all the time. Or is there any other thing that I need or could put in the mech that is not of the weapon variety here? The Warfare Suite? Instead of the Angel ECM? I mean, that's something. That is indeed something. Cannot quite get it. I need another ton. But this would be huge because it also takes away enemies ECM. Question is, are we getting close enough to actually utilize it? I think so. We might. We actually might. Okay, so what are we taking out again? There's one thing, one ton that we need to get rid of. Could actually be the high explosive ammo again, huh? But then again, this this AMS will run dry at some point. I don't like that. Not at all. Maybe the warfare speed is overkill. It might be. So I'm gonna put Angel ECM back in. Um, and I, I will actually grant that the V2 ER medium lasers. Bright blooms. There we go. That's fine. So, Archer ready. Um, uh, Lone Wolf ready. Okay, Atlas ready. Gifts back. I don't think we're gonna play it yet. It's gonna come online at some point, but right now it is not one of my concerns. Oh, Avatar needs to be uh, also rebuilt. But hey, guys, we're almost there. I think we can play a mission within the next cycle of missions. Let's check it out. There's our money gone. Two million sea bills is left. But hey, we're gonna we're gonna drop with some assault mags now. Alrighty. I will upgrade engineering. I wanna get those drive upgrades and then the drop tonnage limitation upgrade. Cool. Here we go. And we make it. Lone Wolf is now ready in three days. And then the avatar is jumping in place. Ooh, it's too much. Avatar has to wait. Yeah, we're getting in trouble here. We already have financial troubles. Cool. Ah, at the same time, is there anything that we can play that is a duel or so? So that we can get some money in between? Yeah, there's one. It's a solo. It's a duo. Damn it. This is a solo. I'll take the solo. I'll take the dire wolf. Let's test it out. A uh, bit of money, bit of salvage against Comstar. So. Lone Wolf, here we go. The first attack of the Wolfling. Oh, I'm excited. So hopefully we can actually get things done here. I don't know if our mortars and our sniper artillery are going to be good enough. And we have a bunch of choices here, a bunch of options. First of all, I can try to overheat enemies with my mortar inferno. I could try to lay mines in the general area of their feet. I could just go with raw damage. Dropping a bit of acid on them and then following up with a shape charge, maybe. We'll see it, guys. We'll see. Ammo-wise, we definitely have enough. We have no kind of defense, by the way. We are not really mobile. We don't generate evasion. The only thing that we can bank on is our stealth. And I don't know if the enemy sensors are good enough to do that. To actually see us. So I think... 
I think we're gonna stay as far away as possible from these guys and just use our range. Not even trying to close in at all. I do hope that we play uh, the left side of the highlands or lowlands, whatever it is. Because this is a spot where we can hide. And I think it is the right side here. Yep, yeah, okay. It's kind of foggy as well. Oh, great. Trees. So what I mean is, when you start... It's not even the same map, is it? No. But there's a, there's a map where you start here and there's a little, uh, little alcove that you can get into. And then you can shoot indirectly in this direction. What do you want? What do we see? Salamander. Cool. Holding. Missiles. AMS. You have no power here, Salamander. <laughs> yeah, but he sees me. What do you want? Uh, yeah, sure. You know what? There's a rock here. God, I'm so sorry. You cannot see anything because of the fog. But we might be able to break Lana's side by hiding behind the rock. What the hell are we shooting, though? Inferno? I think Inferno might be cool. And we're gonna shoot high explosives. We hit the barrage. We hit the mortar. Freaking hell. Damn that hurts. Yes. This weapon also knocks you. <laughs> Screw you, sniper artillery. Screw you. Moving. Alright. Are we killing our pilot here? I don't know. Uh, the more Inferno? More everything, I guess. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna shoot the fast cams. Guns on target. So, sniper artillery is an artillery weapon. We gotta stabilize ourselves in order to use that thing. Ah! Heat and mines and holy crap. That's good. I will follow the mine path 100%. Oh, wait. Can I even? Uh, I'm not sure if the barrage did a thing. What is it already? In motion, Commander. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Shape charge. I don't know. God, this is weird. This is so weird of a build. Uh, am I gonna knock myself here? Possibly. Smoke. Standard. Let, let's go with this. Guns on target. As long as... Yeah. As long as we're winning, it's fine. Even if we're getting knocked again. Which we did. Boom. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was the first test run. It was good that we tested it right here. Not a good build. Not with the sniper freaking artillery. So, yeah, these things are probably better off on tanks now. All right, we got some money. We got some injuries as well, but very little damage. That means basically no repair cost. Uh, basic cockpit. Mm-hmm. Might be the best pick. Good. But I'm happy that we got some money again. That's nice. So let's keep pushing. Towards the next month. And then we will be playing a mission with basically everybody. Problem that I see is when I'm running these sniper mortar combos. I could always fire my mortars. But I could not do something like... Just fire the mortars, brace myself, and then fire the sniper next round. So I cannot alternate between that, really. I have to completely alternate. Bracing, and then shooting. Bracing, and then shooting. That means that two snipers would be better off on the mech. But we only have one, right? I think so. So. I'm gonna wait. Another lots of days. Okay, we got the drive upgrade. I'm not gonna go to engineering and I'm gonna upgrade the vehicle drop bay. Man, so many. So many combos here. So many dependencies. Alrighty. Can we do it? Can we get where we wanna be? Seven days for the Crusader, and I kind of need it. <laughs> so, yeah, there's gonna be another financial report kicking in. Very quick, though. While we are here. This Atlas. 
Um, what what was it running? Ooh, that's rough. That is rough as hell. Okay, it was running a hyper forty. That's cool. It was running some protos. Was running some protos. Uh, it was running a mask as well. Hmm. Okay, so here's what we can do. Anything else that we need to bring back here? Ah, this is fine. Um, I was talking about hyper assault ammo. Ah, damn it. We were losing it. We were losing a lot of it. So I was I was really thinking about putting that in here and then be good with it, but we don't have enough ammo at all. He has a railgun. No railgun requirements. 45% chance for knockdown. That's cool. Yeah, anyway. Um, what are we doing with this guy? Uh, I'm gonna put some kind of weapon in here. I could go with an, another enhanced LRM or so. Important thing is that we just get it up and running again with something. Rock 5 clan. Do we have more ammo for a Rock 5? This is heavy ammo. This is Rock 5 ammo. That's a double bin as well. And flak. Seems good. Okay. Give it the rotaries. Ah, uh, wait a sec. Can I do it? Recoil of one and then plus one per shot above three. A lot of recoil that I'm not really able to reduce currently. How much recoil is that? None. Okay, a little bit of a refit here. We got recoil plus one. All right. Uh, I got two recoil coming from my uh, skills that I have. Seems good. So I have a negative three. That means I can shoot five times without a problem. So one base and then plus one above three. So four, five. That's good. It's fine. Cool. Uh, we can use that as such. Um, I need some ammunition, and I think I'm gonna be alright with just the double bin of ammo. That's 75 shots, so if I shoot five times, that is 12 shots. No, it's not. It's 15. That's okay. Still have 10 tons. <laughs> what a weird mag it is. Uh, and yeah, we are losing the lasers. That's kind of a problem. Still have an, a lot of extra heating, uh, actually not heating, but cooling. Hmm. Hmm. You're running a mask, so we are somewhat fast. 325 rated engine, though. I was thinking about some X pulses. I like these a lot. There we go. Soaks up the weight and we get some extra stuff in here. Two bins of Artemis is fine. We got the criticals there. What else do we need? Am I seeing this correctly? And is this the reason why we died last time or why it was destroyed? Are we not running any kind of ECM? Seems like it. Nothing is on the destroyed list and I don't see any ECM here. We got an integrated laser AMS, which is fine. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna give it something. Like... Let's see. We have Angel. Angel is good. Warfare Suite is big and it actually would fit. This might be the way, guys. Did I drop? Artemis Battle Computer. Doesn't fit anywhere. I don't want to put it in the arm, by the way, because it might just get destroyed and then I'm very sad. Uh, is it Angel or is it not Angel? That's a good question, man. Also, something is broken still. I don't know what it is. And we have four extra tons to work with. Crap. This proto goes here. There's another support system that we could utilize. Uh, actually. Let's go Angel here. Look at here. And we have two more energy hard points. We have two more X-Pulse lasers. Which are now soaking up everything. So yeah, 
This is it. We are not taking the pulses. We are taking extended range mediums if we have some more. And yeah, I think I'm going to be okay with that. Just the good old range lasers. Wait, those go here. Here. Pow. And cooling is kind of optimal right now. Damn it. Do we have anything else that we want to put in the mech? Something, something. Everything has to be where it is right now. Cannot really sh shift anything around internally. That's my problem. Uh, one LRM-20. Yeah, it's fine. Dudes, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I could keep the hardened armor here. Or the hardened uh, thing. That's a 5% damage reduction. That's quite a nice. And resistance against crits. Chaff is okay, I guess. Uh, I think what I want, though, is... Is some kind of advanced optics. Is the gemma better than chaff? Most likely. Does it conflict with my angel? It doesn't. Low tier ECM granting two ECM shield. I don't know if it stacks here, because we already have a shield here, correct? ECM shield of two, sure. I don't know. I don't know, we still got three tons. What are we doing with it? Um, I could, I could put some kind of head, no, retractable blade on this guy. Retinol gyro is actually quite good here. Oh, come on, give me something. Anything, please. Engine heat sinks, not possible. Upgrading the engine. Not possible. Adding more cooling. Not needed. Another weapon? Only a support hardpoint here? It's nothing we have. LRM20 is okay. Maybe we go in under tonnage and we're gonna try to find something. That's fine. Quickly checking my leg actuators, but there's nothing. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's it. We're gonna repair everything. It's taking another 23 days. That is rough. But I'm gonna go in and we play another mission now. We want to get the Archer online. We want to get the Crusader and the Avatar. So those are going to be the ones that I will be playing with. The Avatar is not really having a build right now. So I'm not gonna spend any time rebuilding that. Instead, I'm gonna take the other dudes. Anything that we need to do on the wolf? Uh, the dire wolf? I guess it's fine for the moment. Let's get into a fight. One man band. Let Magpie play. Okay, I'm not gonna read that because I'm craving for a fight. So you can just pause the video and read it yourself. Cool event. Mirror, mirror. Oh god, I should have read that. Okay, through the docking hatch to board the moray. Stopping at the closed hatchway to proceed further into the ship, the hatch behind her closes and gas billows out from overheated vent. She tries to cover her face, but she's soon rendered unconscious. Back on the Argo. Darius knocks at the open doorway of the office and enters. Commander, there's an incoming priority message from Frontman. You look up. Hatch it through, Darius. Darius punches in some information in the terminal next to the large display screen mounted on the wall in your office. Transmission coming in now, Commander. The black screen shimmers to life. In, uh, to life. The blurry image is slowly taking focus. The image resolves into a view of Magpie slumped in a chair. <laughs> you and Darius are glued to the screen, watching events unfold. Hidden game arena on Oliver. Magpie awakens and discovers there is a chain. She is chained to a desk in front of a mirror that fills the wall. One hand is secured to the chair, the other is extended and secured to the desk, which within reach of her fingers, there are four buttons with different symbols on each. Circle, square, triangle, star. Also mounted on the desk, pointed directly at the mirror, is a blaze laser pistol, which is wired to a panel above the buttons. The comms panel activates, and a digitized voice speaks. Welcome, player 203. The game you are about to play is called Mirror Mirror. The rules of the games are uh, simple. You are pitted against your opponent, seated on the opposite side of the mirror in front of you. When the game starts, the buttons will be uh, activate, and you must press the one 
of the four buttons before your opponent presses theirs. The winner is the player who can press the correct button the fastest. Really? We're playing Squid Game now? Okay, Magpie tries to move her head and look around you, but it is trapped in the high back of the chair. She can only use her eyes to scan the small room, which is empty of anything else. The comms activate. The game will begin in 3, 2, 1. Back on the Argo. Signal lost. Back on the Argo, you jump out of your chair yelling, No! Darius, get that connection re-established now! Darius frantically is typing the terminal. Working on it, Commander. Magpie reaches her fingers towards... Uh, forward and decides to... I have no idea. So this is like red here? Does it mean it's good or is it bad? I'm gonna press the triangle. Magpie quickly presses the button with the triangle symbol on it. A low humming noise can be heard, but it is not coming from the laser next to her. Magpie looks at the laser. Then she starts mashing all the other buttons with no effect. A small point on the mirror begins to glow and edges around the globe blacken. Then a ruby beam of light bursts into striking Magpie directly in the chest. Magpie head jerks back. Pain edged across her face before her eyes flutter and close, head slumping forward. The mirror fades to clear glass, showing another player in the same situation as Magpie. The difference being that player 187 has shocked look on the face, which changes to relief in knowing that they are not dead. The cons activate again. Oh no. Player 203 eliminated. Player 187 wins this round. Magpie! No! <laughs> You stare in disbelief at the screen, mouth open. Daria shouts, breaks your trance. No! Barely able to control your emotions, you both watch the events continuing to unfold on the screen. The door behind Magpie opens, and two armed and fully masked guards enter the pushing, enter pushing a trolley. They remove her straps and place Magpie's body onto the trolley and wheel him out of the room. The screen fades black, uh, fades out, and is placed with signal terminated notice. A ping alert sounds on the comm panel at your desk. You move over, <laughs> over to it and see an automated text message. It appears to be from Frontman. You click open to read the message. My condolences, Commander Mutowski. Since you are reading this message, it means that Magpie did not survive round one of the game. Know that her debt is paid in full and there will be no further preparations, uh, reparations needed on her behalf. In fact, we will be giving you and your crew a consolation prize. When Magpie left your dropship, we left behind a crate. You will find it magnetically attached to your hull outside the docking collar we used to pick up Magpie. It is a shame the, the game did not go the full term. We could have made such more money. No, we could have made such more money and your price would have been much greater. Regards, frontman. You look up from the screen and Darius looks at you. Commander, it appears that these games were purely chance, with almost no skill involved. Magpie's chances of surviving were not that good, I think. You lean back in your chair, exhausted from the watching the ordeal that Magpie went through. Advice to crew, they need to know that Magpie is not returning to us. We need to get past this and get on. Get on with our jobs. As Darius leaves, you cannot help but wonder if your path will cross frontmans again. Morale increased by 5, Magpie dies, you gain 500,000. Oh my god. What a crazy event. But hey, we got an ATM and an LRM. Alright. That was cool. I mean, it's not cool that we lost her, but that was cool. We need that Atlas, do we? Nah, we don't. Atlas is too long. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna actually build something something on the Avatar. So we can actually play a mission and then we're gonna actually go in here. Holy macaroni! So we run 4 max plus something. Cool! So, last we've seen this guy. It was running some heavy rotary auto cannons. Great. It's not good. It's not what we want. It's not what we need. We're gonna slap some MRMs on this guy and be done with it, I guess. These rocks are doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we build it around... Mm, ...missiles here. It's the only way, I, I really think. Could go with PPCs, but they will probably don't really have a chance to hit. 
Radical double? Sure. Get that in here. Engine plus one? Sure. Let's get that in here. Alright. We might want to give it one kind of PPC, like one PPC. Also, fire control system. None of these are good. There's an... There's an auto cannon? There's an auto cannon fire control system that takes away recoil. Recoil of one per shot is massive, actually. Okay. Let's talk about auto cannons for a second. Oh, I could just go uh, Gauss rifle. Easy. Um, but hey, why not auto cannons? Ultra 2 LB10. 2 recoil. We can, with the auto cannon fire control system, we can re mitigate up to 3. 2 recoil per shot. Right. If we only shoot three times with each heavy ruck, I think we should be fine. What's the damage, though? Sixty. Sixty, 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 sixty. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Alright, here's what I want to try. You get out of here, you get out of here. You are fine. Put these here, since I cannot reliably put them on the arms with some kind of uh, lower arm actuator. Or can I? Give me a sec. Uh, Omni lower. Yeah, not permitted. So we might as well put them on the side torsos. Get those in here. Two bins of ammo. Ah, this is it already. We are at our our capacity already. Don't need that. That heat bank in here, this is fine. Okay, so what if we go Barrow Fibers of three tons? I want these MRMs. I want them so bad. I want to make some kind of build out of them. There we go. Right? So, three tons. Um, I don't have ammo for my MRMs yet. Got only tandem ammo. Ah. I can reliably run one of them anyway. So, yeah, I'll do this. I'll do this. Get this out of here. One MRM-20, two of these rocks. I'll take the fire control system auto cannon. Um, then I'm gonna take a sensor of some sort, like a sniper sensor or whatever. And some kind of cockpit. It's a slick speed. Perfect. Uh, one specialist slot open. I'm gonna give it a heat. Uh, sorry, a UAV. Uh, or a flare. Flare's better. There we go. Got some support here. And then we need some kind of ECM. Like a Guardian ECM. And we need some kind of... <sighs> Weapons. Weapons accuracy. Cooling. So the other armor is gonna be a laser array of some sort. We're not that fast, so we need extended range lasers yet again. Or I'm gonna give it some kind of large laser. Maybe it's just one large. But if I go that path, I might as well take a PPC. We got some light peeps. I like that idea. Oh, again? Restricted? Okay, cool. Put it on the sides then. Two light peeps. For the sensor scrambling. One MRM for some blasting. And we got the rocks. Yet again, it's better than nothing. And it will probably perform somewhat well. What we also need to get is uh, the extra heatsink. Yet again, there it goes. Drop that a little bit. Drop that a little bit. That a little bit. There we go, two days and we can actually play. <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry guys, it's a lot of rebuilding, but hey, this is it, this is what we have to deal with today. So, we need two days, and we can play another mission. There we go. Let's get into an easy one. Easy-ish. So we also need to find stuff, right? Five skull. Ah, no. Let's play recovery four and a half. It's against Comstar though. This might actually prove quite dangerous. Crusader. In crap. Black Knight. Archer. You? Seems good. 
So Apex was, I think, on the Crusader. The Lone Wolf. <laughs> Who's gonna pilot the Lone Wolf? I don't know. What was King Wolf like? He was on the Warhammer. Oh yeah, we lost uh <laughs> we lost our friend the uh hot boy. You were on the Marauder. We don't have a Marauder anymore. You take the wolf, I guess. No. You take the crab. We need accuracy here. That's good. Gaki can go on the wolf. It's fine. And then we have somebody on the archer. We're running out of pilots, actually. So I, I guess it's gonna be wildfire on the archer. Seems good. And I'll take my carrier and get Rafa in it. And the Oracle? I can. Let's get Jasta and the Oracle. Seems good, man. Yes, confirm that. Okay. I still believe we are under tarnish on the Crusader because we are missing ammo from uh, armor, sorry, armor from another build. But hey, let's get into it. I hope this is a quick mission, but we will see it when we drop. Lots of considerations today, but I like these kind of like build episodes as well. I hope you don't mind. Next time when we have our things ready again, it's gonna be into. Uh, we're gonna go into optimizing mode again. You know, trying to get something for the dire wolf. I think ammo. Honestly, if we get just more mortar ammo and um, ideally acid ammo, this dire wolf is going to be nuts. Absolutely. It can melt things from a thousand miles away. And, and just destroy. But yeah, we need... Okay, let, let's talk about that. Let, let real talk, guys. We need more battle computers. We need um, mortar ammo. We need advanced optics more. Um, in general, good weapon systems. We are kind of running out of them. Hyper Assault Ammo would be nice. It's just we have a lot of combo pieces, but there are some crucial things missing so that we can utilize these combo pieces. And then again, I don't believe in the sniper artillery. I kind of want to fire every single turn if possible. I don't like these, you gotta brace before you can actually reliably shoot that thing. It makes sense, don't get me wrong, it makes sense, but I don't like the mechanic. You know? I can understand it, but at the same time, dislike it. So yeah, there's... It's a thing that I don't don't really want to play with, so I'm not. We're gonna find other ways. It's kind of a shame because I, I kind of avoid these knockdown weapons altogether. That's a problem. The problem being that we fight two enemy lances, both consisting of six enemies per, and they are so close together. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna start from here. It's also night time. We don't have that much night vision. Helicopters! We should also probably try to find some tank parts so we can... Or vehicle parts in general. So we can bring more, more vehicles on the battlefield. This is easy, low-hanging fruit value. Currently we are on a, on a crappy mortar on, on the Oracle. This might be... A Jazz would be fine, by the way. Nidhogs, Ifrits, stuff like that. So what's coming? We're skipping first round, which is actually good. There's so much stuff going on, by the way. The game didn't freeze. They are just calculating the turns. Alrighty. Two facilities. I should probably take this very serious. Who are you? MMLs. Alright. Aye, aye. Alright. I got a Crusader for you. MML carrier. Affirmative. Mm, there we go. What do we see here? Owens, fine. LRM Mark II, bad. Two MML10 risk, okay. Black Knight, that's good-ish. Sprint is okay. The Catapult 3 is not is a big problem. The Vulture is a big problem. Kepper, can't remember. Ifrit, okay. Mortar freaking carrier. All right, so we have some prime targets here. This is gonna be precision ammo because he moved a lot and precision ammo ignores evasion. Let's fire. It is a light carrier, so we should have an instant kill. Problem is, double jam. Great. Good to go. Maki. There's a... There's a world and we actually shut the Black Knight down. With an EMP. Also, Melee Mag needs to go to the front line. Might as well shoot something. And we don't shoot everything, obviously, because this is all about maybe the instant shutdown. 
that we might get from the EMP. Here we go. Engaging. Big miss, 28% only. I mean, I was kind of hoping, and we failed. Negative damage. So, 24. These guys are fast, they mean business. Might be the helicopter, though. Tech barrage and quad missile. Bomb mines, bomb wreck inferno. And a thumper cannon. Huh. What Ifrit is that? This is a pretty cool one. I like this. Also, double flare, AMS Mark II. It's kind of hard to take down with missiles. Big barrage. There. We have to take down the carrier here. What the hell? Hmm. Um, the carrier here, the mortar carrier, and then, of course, the LRM carrier there as we well. Go. This is just the Owens. Uh, sure. We have some time. What do we want to try to take? Not the sprint, not the vulture. It's too low of a hit chance. IATM 9s. Nice. Ifrit, not hittable. I think that settles it. We will be shooting three times with the racks and... Oh no. I just realized. You, my friend. You don't have the uh, focus fire ability that you definitely need on those. But it's okay. Taking the shot. Okay, so there is some integrated laser AMS that is helping out. That's good for you. Bad for us. The mortar carrier needs to be in cover 100%. And we're gonna try to maybe melt this guy. Last shot airburst, maybe? This should be good. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be a kill, but a man can dream. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Commander? All right. The Archer. Got some enhanced LRMs, which is uh, cool. Ah, I can see the mortar carrier. I mean, this would be a 21% shot. What is this one? 35. I'll take it. And... Oh yeah, I have mobility expert. That's not really helping. Trying to deal as much damage as possible here. But I really hope that we can get one of these guys out. He comes to Ifrit. Thumper? Nope. Not yet. Sensor lock. Before the Thumper. Ooh, Infernos. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. I kind of want this thing now. See, it's running bomb mines and bomb Infernos and has an Inferno Thumper. I've been sensor locked. Ooh, this is bad. But we got a lot of AMS on our side as well, so this is gonna be fine. Yes, Commander. How aggressive do we want to be? So the question is, should I shoot my sniper artillery at that guy? I think I want to, don't die. Locked on target. Get him down! Not quite. But we stood. We didn't fall. Right here. Here's a Gauss Crab. Gauss Crab! Doing Gauss Crab things. Let's move. Yeah, what about that? That's a 28% chance. This is it, right? This is where we have to go. Yeah, and we have that battle computer. Uh-huh. Let's try! Firing full compliment on enemy. Alright, we didn't quite get him, but he's open. Yeah, we are running out of activations, by the way. We won't be able to get the carrier down unless we are getting super duper mega lucky. Let's move. By using something like air burst in this direction. Nah, that's not gonna be enough. I might as well shoot the Black Knight instead and maybe get some criticals in his internals. Firing. That was wishful thinking. All right. So, now the rest of all of these enemies are doing things. We'll see what they are actually capable of doing. I didn't really take that much out yet. Here come the IATMs. Mm, ah, that's rough. Getting shot by that is actually rough. And the sensor lock actually primed them here. 
I don't like the mortars as well, but maybe they are far enough away so that they don't have the range to actually attack us. But these LRMs are coming around the corner soon, probably also attacking my archer. Rough. Stop it. That was the rifleman up here. See, good to know. How much more is coming? Owens. Owens pretty slow. Kind of weird, but okay. Uh, we have something here. This is a sprint, of course. Black Knight is turn 11. Uh, the Kepper is not going to deal so much damage, right? Also, friendly fire. I love to see it. He might die now because of the flames. Who shot, by the way? Let's check it out. Assassin. Okay. Good to know. Probably one of these plasma assassins, huh? Owens, your turn. What is it gonna be? No? There's huge stuff on the left side, by the way. Gauss. Kepper? I think so, yeah. Cool. Good to know. I'm also not entirely sure if I can actually maneuver myself out of this barrage again. I was moving into it intentionally, but I think I actually have to move out of it. Like moving into it and then push forward, but I think pushing is not an option. So I, I gotta move backwards again. Man, still turn 15. What's going on here? The Owens, fine, not doing anything. Some people skipped here. Now it's the Black Knight's turn. Always prioritize that. An unsteady or a knockdown target or a shutdown target will always be the one to initiate. If they have multiple choices. Minimal damage on that hit. Okay, now it's probably time for the carrier. And then... What? Carrier is moving a lot. Backwards as well. Not quite enough. Ooh, we have an umbrella. Armor's and it helped commander. actually Nothing quite a lot. So, the mortars are firing. Crap. Yeah, brace. Brace for heat. Oh no. Don't take my damage capacity away from me. I need that. Also, turn two, turn one. That's an indicator for battle armor. They are postponing their turns. Awaiting orders. Cool. Yeah, great. Uh, freaking hell. This is a problem. See, I want to jump. And I want to shoot this. To take it out. With the two lasers that I have. But I have to go Vigilance as well. And I need it also for my archer. I... I guess I have to move the archer. Let's go. We have some things to destroy here. And it's a kind of an important kill. That is a good one. Right. Those missiles won't bother us anymore. Also, what's happening up here on the hill? The rifleman is having a party with the Owens, huh? Can I bring my mech over to the front line here? Is this the thing I should do? We've got a good chunk of AMS, but what if the Ifrit drops the bombs? Five evasion is also not the world. It's not the yellow from the egg. Yes, Commander. I said I would I would move backwards, but I think it's not the right choice, or is it? Already took a lot of heat. This could be a kill. Alright, I'm gonna eat some barrage damage. Um, I'm gonna go with what I can technically hit. Technically. It's gonna be this guy. Maybe we get something done. So, yeah, that's what I thought. The recoil is actually kicking our nuts a little bit. But anyway... Get, let's get Warlord. Let's try to get a kill here. I copy. One guy down is a guy down. Missiles intercepted. But hey, that's half a mech. I'll take it. Maki is gonna stay. I don't need to put that guy to the front line right now. Exposing him more to enemy fire. Mortar carrier. And yeah, that's good. Technically, again. Um, Will I be shot? Yeah, I will. Will I be able to get things done there? 
I have no Infernos, which is kind of nasty. But if we can take the Rifleman out of the equation, it would be very nice. Alright, I'll take this. Yeah, we go for it. Take this. So this is all acid. I'm gonna try to prime him for destruction somehow. We also got a headshot, which is very nice. Yeah, what can I do you for? Okay. King crap doing king crap things. 37 on the Ifrit. Ooh, this is everything. <laughs> everything and more. Okay, we're gonna put that thing to the high ground here. Oh, we're gonna go Warlord. And we're gonna go Offensive Push to his face. Because he has rocks and I don't like that. Firing all weapons. Well, we didn't get him. But we have him on the ground. Oh, by the way, not rocks, but Ultra Auto Cannon 5. Still dangerous enough. And another head hit. Perfect. Okay. Waiting for orders. So yeah, wh what about you now? Funnily enough, I have Vigilance, so I could sprint, and I will sprint. Hell yeah, let's get out of here. Get out of the fire and flames. Oh! Okay. Uh, something something happened? God, this Mortar Carrier actually needs to go, but I don't know if it's worth attacking. We won't kill it this round. We might kill this this round. So I'm gonna go with the secure kill. Exile engine. No, not a kill. He's hanging on a thread. Hit, ah, crap. Okay. Receiving you. But let's say it was a higher chance. Just uh, I want to get the Oracle out of harm's way for the moment. And yet again, I will try to go for another attack. Is it guided? Yeah, I think it's guided here. It. It'll splash damage anyway, even if it doesn't hit properly. Nah. Nah, not good enough. Sprint coming in. Got a lock Locking on. onto me. I don't see the damage, by the way. Turn catapult. Catapult is not doing anything. Waiting for orders. Wait, do I have air burst? 25. Hmm. What to do? What to do? We'll certainly do that. Um, and I could go for this guy now. Or I can try to hit the Black Knight yet again. So that he doesn't do anything anymore. You know what would be cool? A multi-target. Okay, so what else do we have in terms of follow-up? Turn 19. It's Maki only. Yeah, I'm gonna save my sensor lock for later. So this is just a... Um, shot. In a direction. This guy... I think is more important than the Black Knight right now. And obviously, we are not shooting. Ooh, wait a second. Fast gun? Oh, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. We have that fast gun. There's a big cluster here that we cannot reach yet, but we can already set them up so that they will take a lot of damage. Like this vulture here. We'll most likely attack the ground. This vulture needs to go. Holy crap. Fast gun. I mean, obviously, we attack the ground between them, right? Ish, like here. All right, I'll do Locking it. On target. I know, I could have taken out one of these guys. Let's see if they actually hit. Like the uh, Rifleman, which has already lost an autocannon. And then the Black Knight, which has already lost his PPC. So it's not that big of a threat. Still has the laser, I know, the large one. The medium and the smalls are not really that interesting to me, but still. Let's see if they actually deal damage. And when calculating these things, um, you gotta always consider, it's not only about the damage that I'm taking now and the regret, but also the benefits that I get out of what I did instead. So, let's also see how much damage the Vulture gets because of what we did. This is okay. I think this is the best thing that could have happened. Receiving you. Lucky. A bunch of these guys have already taken their turn, huh? Maybe it's time to sprint now. No, not before the Vulture has taken its turn. Ah, uh, but they are same turn. Crap. See, I wanted to shoot the Black Knight down with my lasers now, but maybe I'm not doing it. I'm gonna reserve this anyway. Let's see.
This mortar carrier, also a big issue. 19. What's it gonna be? Owens? Owens. Trying to tag me. Didn't succeed. Good. Alright. It's also kind of funny that the Oracle still is with us. It was, it was one of our... Fr the first thing that we ha got, right? One of our starting tanks. And it's still with us. Didn't get destroyed yet. Not completely at the very least. Could always recover it when it was in dire... And, yeah, dire situations. Uh, Owens is carrying battle armor, by the way. Good to know. That's the assassin. Coming through with his plasma. It is plasma, right? No. It is plasma. Yeah, yeah, it was. Alright. Run 18. Come on, guys. Be quicker. I'm ready to kill you, but I just need to get into position. Hashtag quick mission, everybody. Yes, the assassin. Oh, yeah, he was uh, thinking about his follow-up turn. Now, Black Knight. Pew pew. Actually hitting our King Crab. Not the biggest of deals, but 40 damage that we have to repair afterwards. Now, that thing is gonna be interesting now. I really hope he's coming towards here, and by the way, I want these 20s. That would be a great way to build another mech. Like, actually streaming, streaming, streamlining our avatar, for example. This guy here that is actually getting attacked now. Yep. His rotaries are not great. I just want to have one dedicated missile mech, and four LRM-20 clan would be a beautiful build. Just that. Maybe some lasers. Gauss did not connect. Good. Yeah, we are getting there. Cool. Yes, boss. My turn. I'm gonna go in now. Roger that. He took a lot of damage. Like a lot. Uh, yeah. All right. So this is about damage and not um shutting him down too much. Correct. I think so. I have cool parts. I think I'm gonna use two of them. And we're gonna shoot an alpha strike. Let's go. Copy that. That's a kill. And look at that. Our Target Black Knight can actually shoot things. Beautiful. Now, the mortar carrier. What ammo type are you shooting? Flames against my Oracle. Perfect. Yeah, that was a wasted turn. Systems holding. That is good. But now, somebody is standing up and he's very angry. By the way, I should go here so you can also see my heat management. Okay, Mr. Rifleman. Barrage is coming down. Uh, the Avatar is still standing in it. 15 armor damage, 15 armor damage, 7 armor damage, and a bit of heat. Okay. Commander. Okay. Manageable. Helicopters. So. What now? I mean, we take the high ground. Lifting up. This assassin is attackable. Hmm. This would be just a kill. This is also attackable. Maybe it is time to go for the carrier now. This is 82%, but we have obstructed line of sight, also dealing not that much damage. I could also try to go for the Ifrit or the Kappa, getting down that Gauss Rifle. So we have a lot of high priority targets here. Uh, this is long range, therefore... Yeah, max range plus four is a problem. I believe in the rocks. I hope you believe with me. Let's go. Warlord on the Ifrit. Ah, uh, wait, this is precision ammo. If I wanted to go standard... Uh, it's getting significantly lower. Yeah, um, no, still good. Still good. I'll shoot the Vulture, but my plan is to salvage here, so I'm not. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot this guy. Confirmed. The Mortar Carrier has to be silent. I'm receiving you. And we will follow up with LRMs. Why not? Right. Oh Let's god, this guy it. also brings battle armor to the table. Cool. Uh, I have some Lerms. Let's go Lermy. Taking the shot. Hope that's gonna be enough. I don't want to attack him anymore. 
Ooh, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Certainly a move and shoot situation. Maybe it's just a move and do nothing situation. Uh, rifleman being my prime target, and I can shoot everything. My hit chance is garbage, but I don't need much. I need one hit there. Okay. Engaging target. Never lucky. All right. I didn't hit. Yeah, it's fine, King Wolf. Don't worry. Don't blame yourself. You did well. We have more to follow up with. Still don't know how to play the Black Knight at this point. I cluttered this area with mines quite a lot. It might be just a shooty boy. It's not fast enough to get into a big fight anyway, so... Yeah. The Gauss Rifle. Might shoot over to the Mortar Carrier to get something done. It could finish the Rifleman. Could also go for a leg attack on the Vulture. But as soon as he moves, I think he's gonna stop his turn anyway. Ah, Ifrit, Ifrit, Ifrit. What about you? I'll shoot this guy. Come on. So, that guy is not one of our concerns anymore. The mortar carrier being destroyed. Beautiful. I go up high. Get the overview. Is two sprint good? The answer is no. Got it. Max speed, no shoot. But I want to get this guy down now, and I want to have direct line of sight to actually get it done. So am I gonna go and uh, not shoot air burst? I think I need it for the flyer maybe later. So it's gonna be standard against the rifleman to just finish him. Again, it's XL. Or is it light? No, I think we got him. Did you see that? Did you see it? Yeah. Also, these battle armor dudes, uh, kind of clinging to the Owens, also got some damage. I love that. Standing by. Get what you deserve. So, how much did the Ifrit move? The answer is a lot. A hell lot. We have 16 more fast cam shots. And I think it makes sense dropping those. At the same time, uh, we have some other targets that could actually be good targets. Ah, not the Owens, really. We gotta deal with those guys, somehow. Yo, guys, I, I, don't, I don't know what to shoot here. It's not the sniper artillery, definitely not. I dropped fast gum as well as a uh, acid, I guess. Let's go. Affirmative. Laying a minefield here is also a good idea, I guess. All right. Let's do this. Let's get some passive damage on the board. All righty then. What else to shoot? What else to do? Where else to go? I don't know yet. I think I'm gonna wait with Maki. Standing by. Yeah, you wanna get we wanna get out of the flames? Or do we just sit tight? Enter air missiles. Yeah, let's go. Roger. Let's get him. And we got air burrows here, huh? We got it. Fire! Roger. At some point we gotta go for the sprint anyway. Might as well be now. And this was a very low impact unit that we had here, so. Low impact versus low impact. Didn't get the kill though. I think it's gonna be the Assassin now. No, nope, it's gonna be the Ifrit now. What's your deal? You got the bombs. Don't drop them. Still scooting, coming close. He is in bomb range now. Oh, I think he wants it. Oh, yes. You can see it in his eyes. There it is. Oh, wait. Oh, what? That is your range? Holy smokes! Good news! We don't have to move with these guys at all. So we don't want to run over those minefields. Okay, presenting the target like a boss. 
Uh, he's getting hot. Uh, he didn't really move this round, which is a big problem. I was kind of banking on the mines doing the job. What are you doing there with your hyper lasers or VSPLs, huh? I don't like this. We also lost evasion. Uh oh. We got the damage from the VSPL on the lag. Interesting. The winds is coming in. A, bitty, a big broad front here, supported by our backliners. It's not optimal. So I guess this is going to be the assassin now, turn 15. Taking a good chunk of time thinking about his turn. Then we have the Kepa. And uh, then there is two sets of battle armor. But that's it for the turn. That is a problem. Yeah. Being unsteady here is not good. But hey, the good news is, this guy has dropped the first... I wanted to say the first load here. But he also managed to move like crazy. So he can easily drop a second one without us being able to attack him at all. This is not really possible unless we somehow shave some of his evasion off of him. But still, even if we get him down to 5 with lots of EWS stuff here, I don't know. He might also be immune to it. And 14 Kappa. Moving a lot. Good. Lots of mine damage. Easy. Also easy damage to the other leg. Gotta take the Crusader and bring it back to safety. At this point, it's not a frontliner at all anymore. Good to go. But yeah, as I was saying, I think we're gonna turn the hot seat off for a second. I'm just gonna sprint around like this. Let's move. Uh, shooting this guy makes no sense, but I wanna ping him. Got some pings out. Okay. Was he immune to it or not? He was not immune, so he's down to seven. No Great. Apex! Get out of there. Now? Yeah, now. Absolutely now. So we're gonna jump her away. Affirmative. And we're gonna stabilize her and we're gonna try to hit this guy regardless. We still have some precision ammo. Doesn't do much though. Mm. Alright. This is the turn where we're gonna try to get the Ifrit down before it can drop another one of those barrages. Commander. Avatar. Um, Rafer is the one with another sensor lock, so I gotta wait. What can I do for you? And this is where we're gonna use about. that sensor lock, and we're gonna use that airburst ammunition that we have, hoping for the best. I've got a sensor lock. Alrighty. That is forty-two percent. Let's go! Not down though. Not yet. Ooh, this is rough. He's turn 19, by the way. Um, I have 21 on the avatar. Ooh, everybody else is kind of low here. The only guy is the archer. And you know that these Ifrits have flares and an AMS Mark II. Yes, so let's see what our archer can actually do against them. The answer is already nothing. So, are we shooting something else instead? So, my missiles will travel over his AMS radios and therefore will be intercepted. Uh, then I might as well keep doing uh, what I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm gonna stay out of the forest for higher hit chance and I'll try my best. Come on, get him down. Oh, we are close. We are very, very Waiting close. Any line aside. We can go here. And this is the best we got? 9%? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, so this is a no turn. Uh, the only thing that I can do here is push him back in initiative with an offensive push and try to go in again with my Dire Wolf and an Air Burst attack. And I think this is the best my dude guy can do here. Roger. All right. Offensive push. It's a bit of a wasted shot here. But we can keep those cold and silent for a turn. Here we go. 
Or maybe we can just super lucky and hit our light PPC exactly where they need to go. That's a kill. That's a kill. Hell yeah. Let's go. Turn 20. Catapult is still running. They've got a lock it's another me. sensor lock. High explosive, I ATM ammo on my Black Knight now. He must be so damaged, by the way. On his legs. Mm. Good to go. Risky, but I think I'm gonna do that. Why is it risky? Because if I go in here now... This is a charge attack. Uh-uh. That's a no. No, standing here with my back open to these guys without evasion? I don't think it's a good idea. Also risky because if I'm stepping in here, I'm picking up the thing. And picking up the thing means um, starting or attracting a lot of fire. So we move. And we shoot the cat. Because it's right in front of us. Like this. With everything we got, but we have to actually use one of, let's say, two of these things again. I want to get the cat down. Like now. Alright. Target locked in. Got him EMP'd, got him directly overheated. Perfect. So even if he's not destroyed, he's gonna take a turn off. That's really nice. EMP is actually coming in clutch. It would be better to actually attack one of these guys here that still have a turn and still can hit me and still hurt me and overheat them. But I think the catapult was just a better target with the hit chance we had. And maybe we can get rid of them later. I don't know. So. Reporting minimal damage. What do we have here? You. Just got the mortar. Uh, maybe we want to do some shenanigans. No, we don't need to do any shenanigans here. No shenanigans needed. What I do need is... I still need to stay in motion and still shoot what we got here against the sprint. Okay. By the way, battle armor kind of dispatched, I think. Because there's an explosive part here. Did they shoot from the Owens? Or is it the Owens that shot this part? I don't know. So, Vulture is hot. What if we give him a little bit more heat? With Infernos. Pretty good hit chance as well. Um, active ability, sensor lock. Doesn't help us here. Sniper artillery. Not worth it. See, I want to keep the minefield there. And I don't want to get myself knocked. So we're gonna combo off like that. In the meantime... I said that Utrid doesn't want to move anymore. Do we go for his leg? Or do we... I think we want to attack the Owens here. Uh, let's go. We can go for center easily. Higher hit chance overall. Doesn't matter. Locking in all weapon systems. Yeah, it's fine. And I do hope that some of these battle armor dudes also got hit by our barrage. Right. Here's the Vulture. He's moving around a lot. Not doing anything. Thanks to our heat. And thanks to the mines. Okay. Kepper is still an issue. But if he moves around, then he also might stop his turn and do nothing. Because when the first structural damage is taken to the legs while running over mines, turn ends. Comes the assassin. Ooh, they're getting dangerous. They want my archer. No. They're banging through my armor. They want the carrier. Okay, that was bad. Also, turn five is battle armor time. I don't know if they are going to do something. Did we get the turn off? Yeah, here they come. Keep. Okay, okay, okay. Minor damage, Commander. But they are on my vehicle now. That's good to know. Okay, Daddy turn five. thirty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where to go? What to do? I think this is under control here. So we're gonna deal with the, th the things that are right in freaking front of us. Like these guys. We wait. No. No, we just try to get into a direct line of sight situation with the Owens, I think. Uh, and 5 jump is better than 4 jump. 4 jump and high ground. 
Yeah, that's what we're gonna take. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Your chance is okay. And I'll shoot everything. Target confirmed. Not quite what I was hoping for. Reporting critical hit. But yeah, I think... I think we hit battle armor as well as the mech. Ready to get it on. Hey, Avatar in the... In the fight again. The only target would be... This here, Assassin. Or these guys up here. I'm not really interested in the capper. So I'm gonna shoot it down. I guess. Let's go. On the rocks. All the times. Uh, no PPCs because it will destroy the minefield though. Yeah. But we got the Rockeronis. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. That is some damage. Waiting for orders. Okay, so now we can punch this guy, right? Yeah, with a physical weapon attack. Um, hmm. I mean, these guys... Pretty nasty, still. I'm gonna wait for the catapult to... power up again and then wait for these guys to take their turn and then go in this guy's back. I'll reserve this. Not gonna go anywhere right now. I got my four evasion and I want to keep that. I will generate evasion again, but I also have my back open to these guys. It's, it's not good. Shooting. Ooh, that's rough. That could have been worse. Yeah. Yes, Commander. I think the biggest question is just who do we want to kill now? I think it's the Owens, honestly. The Owens and his battle armor friends. Uh, let's let's go center here. Center is done. Hot damn, let's do this. All right. Tangled down. Wait a sec. Aha! My phone tells me that it is about time to fetch my son from school. But I still have some time, so let's keep moving and... Uh, actually, let's not keep moving at all. I could just twist this. Alright, without a problem. Ooh, hashtag quick mission. We are already... Oh god, man, these videos are getting longer and longer. But again, I promised you to fight a mission and here we are in this a mission. We just need a little bit of damage on the Vulture to get it knocked and then get it destroyed. So I guess it is time. Somehow. I could also pick the Vulture. It is a good mech, easily built. But I don't, uh, I don't need it. It would be a gamble taking stuff, uh, scrapping the Vulture, getting the internals. There might be some LRM 20s popping out of it if I take it. But I don't think I need it right now. Because I got a gift spare coming up. I got my 100 tonners, the Lone Wolf, the King Crab, the gift spare in combination. These guys will take up a lot of tonnage, and of course, they are just the bigger mechs that make kind of more sense. Okay. Stand and buy. How do we play this? This assassin is nasty. I really dislike it. But this is how we do it. I go vigilant here. Um, and I will attack like this. God, it feels so weird, but I want the legs. Acknowledge. I mean, reporting critical hit. I mean, we're getting there, Commander. So, uh, what about you, my friend? You gotta do some erratic maneuvers because you got a battle armor infestation. And we do it. Right, Commander. Ah, battle armor is coming with us. All right. Uh, this is going to be a standard, uh, yeah, standard Firing shot. I've got. I wonder if mortars are taking mines away. But I'm kind of hoping that the splash damage battle it will it will go to the legs. I hope that it's gonna be Reaching enough. For orders.
That's the shot. Standard ammo plus... I, I don't know, man. This guy's already hot again. Let's go with this. No sniper. Target confirmed. Get him. Come on, I need that knock. I think I hit something good. You hit something good. He's not knocked yet. Oh, you're so close. Standing by. So damn close. Where's my line of sight? Just the vulture and nothing else. I don't get it? Fine. I don't need it. Confirmed. Oh, and yes, the mortars took away the minefield. So we need guided ammo, because guided ammo will not take away the minefield. So this is an attack where I just hope that it doesn't hit the mech, but the ground, and then we'll splash back to his legs, because we need, like, one damage. And there is a knockdown. And even if we didn't, he was so unstable that he would have gotten it anyway, and I think something exploded. Probably the leg. The fall damage going where it needs to be. Okay. Pepper. Yeah, he's not taking any damage. And this is my turn now. Okay, so this is where we're gonna finish the freaking game. Let's go. Let's do this. Um. As I was saying, we're gonna attack here. I think I want to keep my EMP on. Maybe it's not needed. Probably not needed. Huh? Kind of is needed. 43 on the other leg. There's some damage. Follow up to the back. Okay. And he's overheated again. Got him. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Mm, the battle armor grinding through my armor. We gotta shake him off somehow. I'm here. So, wildfire. Yeah. Roger. I'm not gonna push forward and try to hit the capper as much as possible. And I'm gonna shoot basically everything. There's a good amount of cluster to the legs, and somehow we got this guy off the battlefield. That is pretty much perfect. Okay, uh, hot seat off. Gonna make sure that I'm not running over my own mines, and I'm gonna move uh, the other way around. And I will try to shoot this guy's leg now. Seems good. Uh, we shoot everything. And I think we got both legs. So there will be a juicy salvage uh, screen in the end. And as I was saying, this is where we are going to finish now. Oh yes, oh how we will finish this. Uh, do we have, we have it, yes, nice. Love that. And I'm going all in. Fire! He took it like a boss. Scored a critical hit. Standing by. But you know what? There's more where that came from. Position confirmed. Still have the problem with the battle armor, but still. Uh, yeah. Copy that. Ah, <laughs> he goes out with a boom! What a stack pole. What a stack pole. Destroyed. Great. So, how do we Waiting deal with order. the freaking battle armor? I don't know. I'm gonna try to do erratic maneuvers. Confirm. And then, we're gonna move. Oh god. Like, yeah. Affirmative. Didn't work. Uh oh. Hmm. I guess we die. <laughs> oh man, this is six of them. Cool. I think I'm done. Let's do this. Okay. Um. <laughs> Cannot attack this, obviously. I can attack this here. Yeah, why not? I guess so. What do we have? Air burst still. Okay, cool. Pascam, acid, inferno, smoke. I don't know. Air burst, it is. Let's go. Locked on. Yeah, we didn't quite kill this guy. Or he might panic, though. Which he does not. 
And the boom. Yeah. Okay. Well done, battle armor. Well war. done. But you know what? I got something that is called a freaking PPC. Targeting. You know what? I got two of them. Accompanied by two Gauss rifles. And it takes four of you. Hit. And I'm not gonna move. I will stand still. Ready for orders. You know what I also got? I got a freaking pod. I should probably not do that. It's too risky. The battle armor might activate next round before I can get my oracle out of harm's way. You know, instead, we're gonna shoot this leg once more with guided ammo. This might be a destruction on the side. I don't know. Hostile removed. Both legs destroyed is what it says. Uh huh. Here we go. Seda, do your job. That was the last of them. Oh my god, beautiful. I mean, we lost that tank, technically, but it might be recoverable. And, and that's a good thing. So. Um, yeah, I'll move here. Let's move. And I'll, I'll jump my Crusader over there within two turns, I believe. For orders. There's nothing to do here. Taking a protective there is... Actually, maybe you are faster. No shooting, just running. Got it. Um, this is a brace turn. I'll tell you why in a second. Stand in by. This is a no. I'm not gonna go anywhere. Turn. Secondary asset has been secured. Okay, okay, okay. So here is. Orders. No. Commander. No. Aki. Receiving you. There we go. I'm gonna shoot the ground here. Boom. Roger. Want to get rid of the mines? Oh, there should have been regular ammo if possible. Because airburst doesn't destroy the mines. It's fine though. It's okay. It's All out of what I want to do. Ammo. Then the Crusader going into <laughs> a misclick jump maneuver. Which would just nothing. Uh, and yeah, I think we're just going to go fast here and try to just get the last thing that we need. Uh, not through the mines. On the move. Stop it here. Stop here. Roger. Yeah, I think our uh, melee make is going to be the fastest here. So. I'm gonna prioritize just that. On my way. So we cleared the way. And now I'm just gonna press brace, 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 brace. The asset has been secured and is ready for retreat. We did it. Whew. Still a dangerous mission. We took some damage, we might lose a carrier. I honestly don't really care about that guy, but we made it. And there is good salvage here. Good salvage for recovery. There's also a turret mount that we might want to pick. Possibly. Let's check it out. Negative 150,000. Ooh, we need to get the money as well. So, what's it gonna be? Ifrit? None. Pepper? None. Um, carrier. This is mine? No, this might be the enemy carrier. Rifleman? No. Vulture? We have no parts of a vulture. Okay. Another Mark II. These guys are actually saving our bots quite a lot. I ATM 9 times 2. Got some ammo for it. Could use it. These LRMs seem very good. Water 8. Nope. MML Risk. Also pretty good. I could run a bunch of them. Tracker Battle Computer. Also pretty good. Endo Steel. XL Clan, Exchanger Clan. Fire Control System Nova. Less heat generated by lasers. Cool. Heat Bank Clan. Night Vision. Nova CEWS. These stack, by the way. You can just slap them on every mag and just get a crazy amount of shielding. There's a supercharger that we want. Gotta take it. Gotta get my, my mech up and running again. Airburst, regular ammo, and inferno ammo. I said I want mortar ammo. Here's mortar ammo. I think on the airburst side, we are good. We don't need more than that. I could take these two stacks. Mech pulse is also quite nice. It's an EMP LRM. Thunder Augmented is helpful. It's, I think it's too slow for where we want to go. Probably. 
got to finish fast. So yeah, it's between the mortar ammo and the LRMs. I could take both. Why not both? One, why not one LRM-20 and both the mortar ammo? It's a good question here. I can take the Thunder Augmented. I mean, we want to get rid of the Sniper, right? So why not use our Dire Wolf, hear me out, as a... LRM, Thunder Augmented, Fast Cam Dropper, that then follows up with direct damage from Guided, Airburst, Artemis, and whatever. This Mag Pulse is also so tasty. Maybe this is the, what the Dire Wolf wants to do. Initiating with a Minefield and then following up. So I'll take two of these LRMs. And the Thunder Augmented. This is the way. Let's go. Maybe we get lucky. I don't know. So we get Mortar Carrier Mark II parts here. But I'm not entirely sure if that is ours or if it was just the random stuff from the battlefield here. It might have been ours, by the way. Uh, we got another LRM-20 in a sphere, though. Uh, it's okay. Thank you. But uh. Ballistic Accuracy. Cool. Uh, case. Tag. I want to keep that. Some Ferro. Hands. Why not? Reactive plating. Mm. Very bad random salvage. I'm not happy with that. But hey, sometimes you just gotta pick what you want and then you have to be ha be happy with what you just got. There's no extra ball of ice cream for mom when you go to the toy store, okay? Sometimes there is, sometimes there is not. Today we go empty-handed, but we have some nice, cool Transformer toys that we're gonna play the crap out of. That is the episode for today, everybody. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. A rating even. Subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good time. Stay safe and healthy. Goodbye!